How to Plan the Perfect Trip A Guide to Santorini Hello fellow explorers! Welcome to Passage Plunge! The ultimate destination for travel enthusiasts seeking to unlock the world's most incredible experiences. I'm Emma, your guide to all things travel. And in today's episode, we're delving into a true paradise, Santorini. Get ready for a comprehensive guide on how to plan the perfect trip to this stunning Greek island. From the iconic blue-domed rooftops to the sun-kissed beaches, and breathtaking sunsets? We're leaving no stone unturned. So grab your notepads and your wanderlust. Because we're about to embark on an unforgettable journey through the wonders of Santorini. When you think of a quintessential Greek island holiday you'll probably conjure up dreamy images of Santorini. Without a doubt, it's one of the most romantic Greek islands to visit. Find everything you need to plan your perfect trip in this travel guide to Santorini. Santorini, Greece, a guide for first-timers. Reasons to visit Santorini. On our very first trip to Greece, we wanted to include Santorini in our travel plans but weren't sure if it was worth visiting. This was largely due to many negative reviews we'd read about overcrowding on Santorini. And the island's reputation as a tourist and cruise ship hotspot. We decided that the only way to find out was to go check it out for ourselves and we are so thrilled we did. Santorini is everything you'd expect from an idyllic Aegean island getaway, and so much more. From the incredible architecture and views to the gorgeous sunsets and delicious food. This beautiful little island has so much going for it. In my guide to Santorini, I'm going to outline all the essential travel info you need to help plan a perfect trip to Santorini and what to see and do once you get there. Where is Santorini? Santorini, or Thera to use its official name, is part of the Cyclades Islands. It sits in the Aegean Sea almost halfway between Athens and Crete. Santorini suffered a huge volcanic explosion around 1500 BC. How to get to Santorini? Santorini forms part of the Cyclades group of islands and can be reached by either air travel or ferry. Flights to Santorini There are frequent flights from the UK to Santorini during the peak season May to October. Flights are much reduced from the UK out of season. If you're traveling from elsewhere in Europe then connecting directly from Athens. And traveling by air on Aegean Airlines would likely be your quickest route. This is a pricier option than taking a ferry but will get you there more quickly. During the more popular summer months, the airline operates regular flights between the various islands and Athens. Tip. Be sure to book your air ticket months in advance. These routes are very popular and to stand a chance of bagging a good fare, you'd need to book ahead. Take the ferry to Santorini. Considering a Greek island hopping adventure? If you're traveling from, say, Athens to Mykonos and then Mykonos to Santorini, you can do so quite easily by ferry. Several different ferry operators run these routes, connecting to islands near Santorini including Ios, Naxos and Paros, and more. How to get from Santorini airport to your hotel and back? We recommend pre-booking a private transfer to make your journey stress-free. There is no taxi rank at the airport and only 25 taxis serve the whole of the island so prices reflect this. Payment is usually in cash and euros. Check private transfer rates and availability which don't cost that much more and are pleasant. Stress-free way to begin or end your trip. If you're flying out of Santorini make sure to get to the airport well ahead of time. To say Santorini airport is chaotic is somewhat of an understatement. We were honestly not sure that we were going to make our flight. And we got there more than an hour beforehand. How to get from the ferry terminal to Santorini Airport. Santorini Ferry Terminal at Athenios is also known as the New Port or Thera Port. It's about 9 kilometers south of Fira. Don't get this port confused with Scala, the old port, which is only used for cruise ships. Especially important to know if you're departing Santorini by ferry for another island. By bus. There is no direct bus to Santorini Airport. You'll need to take two buses, firstly to Fira and then change at the main bus depot for the airport bus. Tickets are cash only and cost €2.30 per person for the Fira bus which you'll pay to the driver. The trip takes about 20 minutes. Bear in mind that there may not be room on the first, or even the second bus, as the port is extremely busy. By taxi. If you're first off the ferry you may be lucky and find a cab outside the terminal where they occasionally wait. But this is unlikely. Bear in mind that there are only around 25 taxis that serve the whole of Santorini. Pre-book a private transfer. With a private transfer, prices are determined and paid for in advance, so everything is taken care of beforehand. You won't need cash for your driver and your transfer will be stress-free. When to visit Santorini? 
from November through to March, Santorini sees a massive decline in tourist numbers. These are not the best months to visit since the weather conditions. And availability of activities and experiences may limit what you can see and do. Many bars, restaurants, and accommodations don't open until April or May. From May through to early October, when the charter flights operate, the island buzzes with activity. July and August are extremely busy and crowded during the peak of summer. Where to stay in Santorini? The best places to stay in Santorini are the towns of Fira, Oya, Imeravili, and Firastefani. These towns are located along the Caldera Cliff on the western side of the island. They all overlook the volcano and caldera and consequently have fabulous sunset vistas. On the downside, there are no beaches nearby. And they are more expensive than the beach towns on the other side of the island. Fira, for the buzz. Fira, Fira, is the capital of Santorini and the biggest and most cosmopolitan town on the island. There are plenty of restaurants, bars, and boutique shops. Fira is also where the cruise ships dock at the old port at the bottom of the cliff. This means at times it can be overrun with tourists, especially when there are more than one or two cruise ships in port. There can sometimes be as many as five or six. Oya, oh yeah, for the sunsets. Oya oh yeah is Santorini's best known town for sunsets but because of that, it has its drawbacks. Every evening crowds of people arrive in Oya oh to catch the sun going down. Oya oh yeah has a good range of high-end restaurants and shops. It's also the most expensive town on the island for accommodation. I'm Air of Glee to chill. We opted to stay in Imeravili and loved it. It's within easy walking distance, 20 minutes, to all the nightlife. An activity of Fira and also has incredible views out over Santorini Caldera. It's far less crowded in Imeravili and quieter than in Fira or Oya. How to get around in Santorini? Depending on where you are traveling to and from. You could get by on foot but at times may need to make use of a car. As we stayed in Imeravili we could easily get to Fira on foot. With lots to see and do in these areas, we didn't have to wander too far out. But, when we wanted to get to Oya, to the beaches, to the open-air cinema in Kamari. Or to get back to the ferry dock or airport. We needed to make use of taxis to get around. There is no Uber or Lyft in Santorini. Top things to do in Santorini. No guide to Santorini would be complete without featuring some of the island's highlights. There is so much to see and do on the island that we could probably head back for another visit and still, be able to discover more of the island than what we saw on our first visit. Hike from Fira to Oya. Are you an outdoor enthusiast that loves nature and hiking? Then you should consider the hike from Fira to Oya along the cliff path. The hike itself is roughly 7 miles, around 11 kilometers, and can take anywhere between 2 to 5 hours to complete. This, of course, depends on your level, speed of hiking, and stops for photographs. Take a sunset cruise. One of the most breathtaking memories I have of Santorini is without a doubt. The incredible sunsets you get to experience as you look out over the Aegean Sea. As such, it's only fitting to book a sunset cruise to end your Santorini days in the best way possible. Eat fresh seafood at Amudi Bay. Santorini is known for its seafood. And Amudi Bay is one of the best places on the island to find it. If you're doing the Fira to Oya hike, and you love seafood then it's the perfect spot to stop for lunch. By the time you've completed the hike and descended the 280 plus steps from Oya to the bay, you'll have earned your meal. Take a Santorini food tour. Take a guided food tour with a local to get to know the best of the Santorini food scene. You'll taste all kinds of local food from seafood cheeses, olives, baklava, wine, and traditional Greek dishes. You'll need to arrive hungry. Take this tour early on during your visit so that you know all the best spots to go back to during the rest of your trip. Watch a movie under the stars at Kamari's open-air cinema. One of the best experiences we had whilst visiting Santorini was to watch a movie under the stars in the charming open-air cinema Kamari. Set in a lush garden with a massive projector screen beaming English-language films, this was a highlight. The cinema also offers a small bar where you can buy drinks and popcorn. Explore Santorini's beaches. Admittedly, the beaches in Santorini are not the usual white sandy beaches you may find on other Greek islands. But this doesn't mean you should give them a miss. Unusual in nature, due to the black volcanic pebbles you'll encounter here. Beaches such as Parissa or Kamari are well worth a visit. We settled on Parissa with its incredible rock formations flanking the beach. And the stunning crystal clear waters and decided to rent a lounger for the day. See the sunset over Santorini Caldera. 
When in Santorini you have to head to Oya and see the sun dip below the horizon at least once. It's what people go to Santorini for. Head there early, find yourself a prime spot, and just enjoy. You'll need to book in advance if you want a meal with your view. And that concludes our deep dive into the art of planning the perfect Santorini getaway. From crafting an itinerary to savoring every moment on this enchanting island. I hope you're feeling inspired to make your own Santorini dreams a reality. If this guide helped you or ignited your travel aspirations. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Passage Plunge for more travel insights. Have a destination you're eager to explore or need advice for your next adventure? Drop your thoughts in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. Until our next journey together, remember, every trip is a chance to create memories that last a lifetime. So, keep exploring, keep wandering, and keep making every moment count.